Working alone in his New York artist studio, the painter, Samuel Morse, had tinkered with a mechanism for sending signals over short electrical wires. With primitive batteries for power, he devised a code of simple dots and dashes to represent the letters of the alphabet. In 1843, the U.S. government paid to string wires 35 miles from Washington to Baltimore. Within a few years, this first telegraph line had sprouted a system stretching from Boston west to the Mississippi River. The era of instant communication was born. The telegraph really transforms the marketplace in the United States rather quickly. Prices are known instantaneously around the country. So whereas it used to be that, say, the price of pork in Cincinnati was known only to people in Cincinnati or that region, the price of pork in Cincinnati with the telegraph is now known in New York at the same time. The market is nationalized. Um, it is no longer dependent on space uh, because space has, in effect, been annihilated. Although New York and New Orleans could now communicate, oceans isolated the cities of America from the rest of the world. The telegraph had shrunk the continent, but international news was still carried by wind and sail. Ships would leave New York Harbor with mail and dispatches bound for London weeks away. The telegraph ended at the docks of Lower Manhattan.